we can get uh, the word out there on people being aware of what ALS is and more contributions to the cause, the better it is. My name is John Landers. I, I'm a professor here in the Department of Neurology and I study the genetics of ALS. The tools for finding out what causes ALS have never been better. So there's an explosion of new insight into what triggers it. But I think equally importantly, there are some incredible new tools for treating the disease. And that's in the end what we care the most about. How do we stop the disease in its tracks? My name is Daryl Bosco and I'm an ALS biologist and a protein biochemist. I'm fortunate to have uh, ALS geneticists next door to me. And so they identify the genes that cause ALS and then we study the protein products from those genes. So we try to understand how those genes are toxic to cells. My name is Chris Mueller. I'm a gene therapist in the Gene Therapy Center here at UMass. And my role in ALS is working with Bob Brown and a team of RNA biologists and figuring out how to use viral vectors to knock down toxic gene products like SOD1. So I'm Melissa Moore. I'm co-director of the RNA Therapeutics Institute here at UMass Medical School. UMass Medical School is an amazing place for ALS research because we have so many people in dis different disciplines that uh, are contributing to uh, trying to understand the basis of the disease and also to develop cures for the disease. I'm Vivian Butnik. I'm the chair of neurobiology. What is really, really special is this combination of scientists coming from very different perspectives, uh, joining together to understand a problem and to find solutions. It's very exciting to do ALS work here because we have a span of expertise all the way from people who are experts at figuring out the genetics of this disease to those who have built gene therapy centers to know how to get inside the iron curtain around the brain so we can put medications in the inside and treat a disease like ALS or maybe also Parkinson's or Huntington's or other of these brain degenerative disorders.